Hello everyone. So in this session, we'll be discussing related to different types of conversion operations available in TIA portal. So we'll be also looking at a convert function which will be used for converting one data type to another. Okay, so basically if you want to convert a value, suppose it is an integer value and if you want to convert it into real, that also can be done using a convert function, right? So there are various types of different conversion functions as well available in TIA portal. Okay, so let us see. This is our round function. Then we'll be having seen a uh, seal function, then floor uh, and trunk function, right? So these are the different types of functions available. Okay, so let us observe what is round function. Okay, in round function, we'll be getting a round of value that we'll be seeing in the TIA portal. And then also in, in the seal function, we'll be getting C generates the next higher integer value. Okay, so if you are giving some decimal value, whatever it may be, it will generate the next higher value. Similarly, floor function will pr produce a next lower integer. Okay, so how this is happening, all those things we'll be discussing in this lecture, right? So let us observe. First of all, we'll be seeing a simple function that is this convert function, right? So why it is used and how to use it, okay? see what i'll do is i'll be giving some value here right so suppose these are the two question marks right so if you want to convert from one data type to another data type so suppose if you want see here there are different types of data types available here if you want to convert this value from integer to suppose if you want to convert it into real that is it will be having a decimal value right so let us take it as five right now I have given it as an integer, okay? So that's why this end is accepting this integer, right? Now this has to be converted into a real value that will be stored at some address, for example, md0, right? Now what we'll do is I'll just download it and let us observe what is going to happen, okay? I have downloaded it and now we'll be going in the online mode. Okay, after going to online mode, we'll be observing that this value has been converted to its decimal form. Okay, so basically 5 is converted to 5.0, that is a floating point value, that is a real value actually. Okay, similarly, we can convert different values. Okay, so there are different types of data types available. We can convert from one data type to another data type. Okay, so this is how we are using this convert instruction, right? So now, I'll be going offline, okay? And then we'll be observing how to use this round instructions, okay? So basically a round instruction can be used. We can delete this one, okay? And what I'll do is I'll take one input and then I'll be using this round instruction here. Okay, so enough. In order to convert the round of value into an integer, for example, uh, this will be definitely an integer, right? So I am converting this uh, real value. Real value will be in the form of decimals, right? So we'll be giving some value here and that will be converted to the rounded form. Okay, so round of form. Okay, so here what we'll do is I'll give the input addresses. Suppose we are giving it as, uh, let us create one tag here. That is input tag. So I'll be giving it as i0.0 .0 as the input. Okay. And what we'll do is, I'll just change its name, right? So what we'll do is, I'll be changing the tag name here. This will be our input, right? So in this way, I have created this tag, okay? And we'll be giving some value here, okay? So suppose we are giving a real value. That is, suppose we are giving some 24.678, right? six five something okay five six something we are giving so basically if you are able to observe this is great this is five okay and now this has to be converted to 25 right so let us see how it is converted and here we'll be giving uh, address md mw0 suppose 
okay so let me download this one now okay after downloading let us observe what is going to happen i will be going in the online mode and going in the monitor mode okay so actually this has to be in the form of decimals right so this act this is not active right now that's why it is not happening okay so let us observe what is going to happen i will be giving this value okay so if you are able to observe i am just activating this one and we are able to observe that whenever you activate this one this function will convert this value that is in the form of decimals and it will round off it to the nearest value okay so basically uh, it is greater than 5 so 20 uh, here the value after decimals is greater than 5 okay 5 6 that is obviously greater than 0 0.5 uh, 0 0.5 right so that's why the value is changing here okay so in this way now what we will do is i'll be changing this function to go offline mode okay so in this way if suppose we are giving it as uh, let us take some another example 23.2 okay so it will be giving it as 23 only because this is not greater than or equal to 5 right so let us download it once again and let us observe what is going to happen okay i'll be going in the online mode so basically i need to go into the online mode first okay after going to the online mode i'll be okay let me go into the monitor mode again okay so if you are able to observe this 23.2 has been converted to 23 itself because the value after decimal is not greater than or equal to 5 right so if the value is less than 5 then obviously it will be converted to the this value itself the value before decimal otherwise it will be converted to the next higher value okay so this is how we are using this round of function okay